Okay, now, uh, Eastern Illinois at uh, Charleston next Saturday. You have to get ready for the Panthers, and uh, uh, it's been a great rivalry over the years. And you've played some fine games against each other. Well, I think Eastern's changed their personality a little bit. As you know, Al Moldy, who was the coach uh, at Eastern, is now the head coach at Western Michigan. And, and uh, when Coach Moldy was at Eastern, they threw the ball uh, upwards of 50 times a game. Right now, Bob Spoo, who for years was an assistant coach at uh, Purdue, is the, is the head coach, and he's running a little bit more balanced offense. And, and uh, as a result, Eastern's running the ball much more effectively than they have in the past. Uh, they still throw the ball uh, well, but they don't throw it all the time like they used to. So uh, in terms of, of personality, Eastern's changed a little bit. Uh, defensively, uh, they've played well all year. They, they uh, blitz and twist and stun a great deal and, and uh, for the most part are very, very sound on defense. And, and uh, I would say that, you know, thus far this season, the, the, the big consistency that they've had is that they've played well defensively every week. And, I'm sure they'll continue to play well defensively next week, and, and week by week they've been improving offensively, and like I said, they've changed personality offensively and are a little bit more uh, balanced in what they're trying to do, and, and they're breaking in a new quarterback, so uh, they've had some transition on offense, but defense they've played uh, very, very well. How about better games of the season against Eastern Illinois, but it all went for naught, 20-14. to 14. Indiana State actually led this game late in the fourth quarter. This 50-yard touchdown pass from John Somm to Rodney Porter helped give ISU a 14-13 lead with two minutes left. But Eastern staged a furious rally capped by John Sengstock's 24-yard touchdown run. The touchdown run gave the Panthers a 20-14 lead with just 46 seconds left. Indiana State had one last chance, but it slipped from the grasp of Steve Elmlinger the Sycamores dropped to 1-6 and six overall and 0-4 and in the gateway. Well, it's our visit with the head football coach at Indiana State University, Dennis Rates. And, uh, of course, uh, we're going to have a lot of highlights for you. We're going to show you uh, a feature with Vince Stilger, the uh, head trainer at Indiana State University, and uh, a lot of the work he does preparing for the game and what he does for the football players. And, Dennis, uh, a game yesterday which uh, Indiana State dominated most of the way but in the last uh, couple of minutes game uh, eastern came back uh, got a drive going and scored on a 24 uh, yard touchdown run to win it uh, 2014. i thought the, the keys for us were three times we came in fourth and one situations and didn't make it the most crucial probably being the last one with uh, less than two minutes to go if we'd have made that first down we could have run out the clock and then the other thing that i really think was a, a killer for us was uh, Twice we didn't hold defensively. Once when we went ahead 14 to 3, and we get a very short kickoff, and they come right back and score and make it a 14 to 10 game. And then uh, obviously at the end of the game there, they drove the length of the field in less than two minutes on six plays. And uh, you know, for the most part, we dominated the game yesterday. Statistically, there's no question that we dominated the game. But the only thing that counts is the the final score. And and somehow we've got to find a way to win as opposed to find a way to. Uh, self-destruct and, and uh, you know we're running out of time to do that but uh, I thought that that we played you know we were the better football team for the better part of the game yesterday but the, the scoreboard doesn't reflect that and that's what counts okay it was a disappointing loss but it was an interesting game and we'll be back to show you the first half highlights after these messages state's first possession in the opening of the game and this will be the uh, possession, the first possession of Eastern Illinois. Eastern Illinois came down and kicked the field goal on their uh, first possession, and then we came right back and scored, and I do think that uh, for the most part, like I said, we, we played relatively well. Here, uh, defensively, I don't think they ever ran the ball with any authority all day. A little out pattern you know, underneath our zone for a first down. Again, we get close, but uh, can't quite get to the passer. Come back. Is their quarterback. Right, and he was making his first start. Here again, they throw underneath the zone coverage. Again, the incompletion to come back and run, and you can see we pretty well uh, collapse on the run, and, and uh, I think they had two first downs rushing all day. Dwayne Pitts, number 20, is senior running back, and has been a stalwart for him for a number of years. Right. Counter sweep. Again, we do a pretty good job containing it. Come back on a little rollout pass. And then force uh, the quarterback to throw it out of bounds. And then they sit down and kick a 47-yard field goal. 
Mitch Emke kicked that one, and uh, that puts Eastern up 3-0. Uh, I think Emke's kicked something like uh, 10 straight field goals, or field goals and 10 straight attempts. Well, the kicker and punter both did an outstanding job, I thought. Yes, yesterday. they did. We come back and put together a pretty good drive. Here's counter sweep to Charles Walls. Sprint draw. She does a good job uh, running after being hit. Come back on a fullback trap to uh, Mark Syke. Here's sprint draw again, which we get caught in a blitz. And John comes back and uh, throws a strike to, uh, I believe that's Chris Johnson for mm -hmm. the first down. Right. And we go deep, and, and the wind catches the ball a little bit, and it's under throwing. It was a funny wind yesterday. Yes, it was. We come back on quick draw. So on a third down situation, again, John hits Rodney over the middle. Rodney shakes off a tackle, and, and uh, he scores a touchdown. He just got run and goes in. The thing that uh, John does is his arm is, is strong enough that, uh, you know, he can throw in the cut. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're ahead 7-3. to three. And I do think we come down here and do a pretty good job covering on the kickoff. I think that's Jeff Props. They come on a Statue of Liberty play, which last week made a lot of yardage for them against uh, Western Illinois. Come back on quick draw. Again, at this point, we're playing very, very well, particularly against the run. Paul Oxick made that stop. Throwing under the zones, forced into a punt situation. And their punter, as you mentioned, really did a good job punting. He gets it over Gary's head. And we get a little bit of a roll, but but twice yesterday we had the ball go over our, our return man's head. Come on, tailback isolation for a first down. Back the same play. You see they have a guy slip off a block inside. We come back on counter sweep pass. Get our fullback for a first down who's wide open. Toss sweep. Pretty good job blocking by P. Andre on the edge. Balls had over 100 yards in the first half. Yes, he did. He was inside trap. And like I said, you know, for the for the better part of the game, I really felt that we controlled the tempo and did the things we wanted to do. But it's the same old story. You've got to be able to score when you've got the opportunity. Now, this is the fourth down that worked. Yes. So now we're in a first down situation. They blitz. Uh, we throw hot. Gary catches the ball, and then it bounces off, and they get an interception. Is that what it was? I, well, it was a fumble. I guess well, technically it would go on a fumble. Okay. And we come back and play relatively well here defensively. Again, a little underneath pattern underneath our linebackers, which to some extent is to be expected because we were dropping under the lines. Same play. Dwayne Pitts again on the receiving end. Toss sweep, and they get a little bit of a crease on us at this point. Here we do a pretty good job collapsing on the throw. And then they come back, and, and uh, we get a near interception, forcing a punting situation. And I think at this point we put together a 90-yard yes, uh, a, a yeah. drive that ends up in a score. Here's John comes out and breaks contain. And we just overthrow the receiver a little bit. Come back and run the trap play. Here's a big third down play. And you can see his arm will allow you to, to get it there. Mm -hmm. and Chris Johnson does a good job running the ball after it's caught. Here Charles breaks a couple tackles. Does a good job. Throw to Gary Cannon for a first down and come back and run sprint draw. Charles makes a good gain again, a near first down. He got away with this one, well, which is all right because there was a man out there, but if he hadn't have it, it would have been a big loss. John doesn't have great foot speed, and he's going to pull up most of the time. Here, he, uh, same pattern we get Rodney for a first down. Come back and run counter sweep. Charles does a good job finding a crease. Come back, run the same play, and get caught from the backside. 
was a touchdown, I think. No, no it was a quick screen, which right. they got a guy in the throwing lane. I think he did that purposely because I think he thought that was going to be intercepted. Here's the touchdown, which is a good throw and catch. Perfect. Steve Elman. At this point, I thought things looked awfully good, and they did. Well, we're ahead now once we make the extra point, 14 to 3. Now, here's one of the key things, right. I think, in the in the game. We short get a kick. very, very short kickoff. If you see that ball goes down to the... Yeah, to a tackle. To a tackle on, on the 20-yard line. And they get up in the, in the lane. And it's a face mask and another five. Right. So now they have the ball first down at midfield. And then we come back and, and uh, really don't play very well defensively right here. Here we get pretty good coverage by Levent Blaylock. Again, we don't get an interception when we're in position for it. Play pretty well on toss sweep. This sets up a third down situation. Now, if you'll notice, he'll break contain out to his left which causes our linebacker to come out of coverage. Mm -hmm. Now they got it inside the 31st and 10th. Yeah, but we had a third and eight situation. Again, they try to run the ball. Come on, counter sweep pass, and, and uh, our corner bites up. And uh, results in a touchdown. And like I said, I, I really think over the course of the game, that was a, a crucial drive, because if we could have held them there, the momentum was all in our favor. We come back and put together a pretty good drive right here of our own. Charles just gets tripped up. Here they get a back, steps up in the hole. We come on a reverse, which really uh, they defended very well. Then they get a roughing of the right. hunter call, which gives us a first down. There is a flag back. They called that a flagrant rough, too. So now we're, you know, near the middle of the field. The first down situation. Here's the first down. So we have first down on the 40. Come out again, sprint draw. Now we get a hold here, mm -hmm. which you can see the flag being thrown. We thought it could have been a double penalty uh, face mask also. But now rather than first down, we're back to back up the field. We throw the ball and get first down inside the 20, come back on sprint draw. Uh, they defend it very well. Third down situation. And then this is a fourth down play. And that was the end of the half. But like I said, you know, it, it's been the story of our season. We can move the ball well between the 20-yard lines. We mm -hmm. get down into scoring, scoring uh, position, and, and we just seem to self-destruct. Okay, we'll have the second half highlights after this. Second half to Eastern Illinois, and uh, the third quarter was pretty much a defensive battle. Neither team could do much. No, neither team uh, really generated much offense at all. Here they have a drop and, and uh, come back and... This is really the pass that they scored on. We get an interception at midfield and really had good field position here. Come back and we just get beat around the edge and get a sack right here. Which that really hurt because we, we had the matchup that we wanted in terms of throwing into their coverage. This is where some... No, he, this is not where he gets hurt. He comes out and... and uh, scrambles, but the first down play had put us in a second and 18 situation, which really uh, takes away your options offensively. At the 15. Right. Now, we come back and play pretty well here defensively. Force out of bounds. They come back. Brad Whitaker here makes a good play on, on counter sweep. And they have a bad snap. We get near the passer and force a bad pass. Now, this Two is a key play. This is a punt that goes over our punter's head, over our returner's head. And he's looking right up into the sun. There's 30 hidden yards and, and things that you don't see, so rather than have the ball at 40, we have the ball back at, at the inside our 20. And of course, now this is the fourth and final quarter. Quick draw. A little screen over the middle. Here's the 
again, you can see as far as them running the ball, we really uh, played relatively well all day. Here they break out on a quick draw. And this sets up the field goal, which brings them within 14-13. Ken Hopp does a pretty good job collapsing on him. And here we nearly get it on a blitz to him. They get the dump off. Again, we do a good job on a third and short situation of collapsing. 43 yard of this time. They kick a 43 yard field goal, which pulls them within 14 to 13 uh, in the fourth quarter. Just handle the kickoff a little bit to get it out above the 20. Uh, have a clipping penalty. Quick screen to Steve Elminger. We get up to a first down situation. I think this is Fandark in there now. Right. We missed where uh, mm -hmm. John got hurt. Here we come on counter sweep to Ray Wallace. He does a good job running the ball. Gary Cannon for a first down. Here we Kyle play. does a good job on a naked and runs for a first down at midfield. Can we break contain, get a near first down situation. This is third and short. We come up just inches short, so now we go for it on fourth down and mishandle the snap. Mm -hmm. So rather than us having first down inside uh, Eastern's 40, uh, they have a first down situation. When a close game is lost, I guess you can come up with all kinds of things that could have happened. Well, it just seems like, you know, seems like everything that... Uh, is happening to us is magnified so much. You know, they had a roughing the punter call that they're able to, to overcome. Uh, we don't make it on fourth down, and, and it, you know, when things are going bad, it just seems like you look back and everything seems magnified. So mm -hmm. Here we come back on a quarterback draw. We get tripped up. Again, Kyle breaks contain. And it, what you didn't see there is we had a holding call. Mm -hmm. And we come back and, and uh, have a good throw and catch to Rodney Porter. So again, we're in Eastern's territory. Get caught in the blitz. Again, come out, break contain. Short game. And again, here's a good throw and catch again to Rodney. Now we're first down on the 30-yard line. Get into a short yardage situation. Run the trap. Here's the fourth down situation that we did not make. So if we'd have made that, then we'd have run out the clock. Now here they come back and, and uh, go underneath. They're on their 30. Here we have a near interception, which would have been at midfield. Here they get in the crease over the linebackers and underneath the deep drop. Here we get in a blitz. Put this in a man situation and uh, here's the draw that goes for We're in a blitzing situation and, and they just pop a trap right up the pipe. And we come back and, and actually end up with a chance to to score with 46 seconds. So they kick off with 46 seconds left. When we actually get the ball, I think there's something like 41. And we come the length of the field and, and uh, end up actually with a chance to score. Incomplete. I think this one is the one maybe. No, this is the one. No, there's one here. Under throw. Now here comes the throw to Chris Johnson. getting out of bounds stop the clock and that's just a throw away this is the one I think that and we get it to the end zone and it goes right off uh, the receiver's hands and it would have been a tough catch and I believe this is the last play of the game. 
tough 2014 loss, and we have a feature that we're going to show you with uh, Indiana State's head trainer, Vince Stilger, after this. Don't miss this year's Indiana State University Homecoming Parade, live on TV 10. 